This is Dr. Cher with Batmobile Batteries, and today we're going to show you how to swap 12 volt battery in your Tesla non D model, the originals. This is an 85. All right, all the tools you're going to need today to do your 12 volt battery swap. Flathead screwdriver recommended, not necessary, but recommended to have on hand. A 10 millimeter wrench to remove the negative terminal on the battery itself. 8 millimeter socket or socket driver like this to remove the adapters that are on your two 12 volt on the on the 12 volt battery itself there's a on each terminal there's an adapter and you got to remove those and swap them over to your new battery then you got a 10 millimeter socket which you're going to need to remove the front liner uh well not the liner itself the carpet but the the boot the front boot and the two bolts that go on to the uh air handler unit the uh the air ducting and then your 13 millimeter socket to remove the bolts that are on the uh positive terminal of your battery and the DC DC converter lead that goes to the positive uh, rail on your your breakout board on top of the battery and then of course the socket so driver. The first thing that we're going to do is kind of get access to the battery which on these cars happens to be the most annoying part. Uh, so pop your frunk of course and then what we're going to do is we're going to remove all of the carpet lining in the center here. This part's kind of optional. You could do it without but I really recommend doing it with removing this because you're able to remove the uh, plastic tray that's in here and get access to kind of have two hands on the battery and that makes it a lot easier to get it out. So to do this, you're gonna pop the carpet off. There's gonna be a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts along the rim of this piece here that you're gonna remove. There's a couple that have these unique uh, ends to them for your, your uh, carpet cargo hauler, um, the net. That, that goes in here. So you just twist those off counterclockwise like always. And then you're going to use your 10 millimeter socket on these and turn those off. And after you've got that carpet removed and you've got the bolts off up here, then you can work on getting, you're going to want to set all of this stuff to the side. You can work on getting access to the rest of the bolts. This carpet's going to have to come out and these side carpets come out. They come out pretty easily. You just lift them and kind of peel them away. Easier to start from the back side and then just peel out like that. Then you're gonna have all of these bolts around the rim of this tub. You remove those and once you've got those out, you slide out. Once you have access into the front space with the boot out, you're gonna remove the passenger side trim and the center trim along the front. To do that, there's only one piece that you've got to turn and that's right here that's the adjuster for the front on the passenger side and you just grab the rubber kind of pull it up a little bit and twist once you've got that started you just twist it all the way off now this part is essentially loose and you can just start kind of unclipping it away pulling it out down here you got a couple of pegs you gotta peel off and then you're good to go then you've got the center liner as well that's got to come out. It's a little more complicated just because of the width. So you got to kind of bend it in to get it around the shocks. And the same thing on the other side. All right, now you've got the trim removed. And at this point, you'll, you can sort of start to see the battery. It's under here, becoming close. It's going to be underneath this air filter box and underneath your uh, pillar support. So the next part that's got to go is going to be this trim right here. And this you won't have to remove altogether. You can just peel it up and just kind of wedge it underneath the, uh, your hydraulic support and that'll get it out of the way. Filter. Now at this point, you're going to have to get your 10 millimeter socket again. And you need to remove two bolts, one on either side of this box. There's one here and then there's one deep in on this side. 
Um, so use an extension to get to the one on that side. This one's pretty easy to get to. Be really careful about dropping bolts because when you drop a bolt, it's very difficult to get to. Um, fortunately, with this boot open, it'll be easier. But if you didn't have that boot open and you dropped a bolt, you would have to remove it to get to it because that's the only way to access down uh, the bottom tray over there. So we will remove this. With a now you've removed both of those screws. Then this will kind of peel forward, but there's a couple of clips on the top that you're going to have to wedge your finger underneath or get a screwdriver and release from. So you do that side and that side, and then it'll come right out. Now you can look at the top of the battery. So it's, it's still not totally accessible, but you can see the red is the original Tesla AGM C and D battery. And this top tray comes off and there's a series of fuses that they decided to put right on top of the battery. And uh, we will do that next. So you just peel that off. Now you're looking at the top of the battery with the fuse breaker, or the fuse breakouts. And the next thing we'll need to do is, at this point, I would like to disable the, the car's high voltage system altogether. And so you can do that most easily by removing the, uh, the cut loop. So the cut loop is a loop that's within the HVIL, which is the high voltage interlock system on these cars. All electric cars have them, and it's a safety mechanism in place that ensures that the, all of the high voltage connections are made before it allows the high voltage system to come on. So once you remove this loop, the car is unable to close any contactors from the ba main battery pack. And so that we can do that for safety just to make sure that the uh, DC-DC converter doesn't come on and start adding energy to this battery while we're working it's on it. It's kind of a challenge to remove. You've got two... Um, little clips kind of here that you need to push apart while you pull on this side. So I use two fingers on that side to push and separate those. And once you hear that click, then you kind of know that it's free. So now the high voltage interlock loop is out and you are now not totally safe because there's a 12 volt battery and of course you got live voltage there, but you know that the high voltage battery is offline at this point. So the next thing we're going to do is loosen and remove the negative terminal on the 12 volt battery and that's right here. This is the negative terminal on the 12 volt battery. Then you can take your negative terminal. Now that you've detached the negative terminal, of course, you've, the 12 volts totally uh, not, is, is disconnected. So as long as you keep that away from the terminal, you'll be uh, safe to prevent anything from shorting. So I would push that, just kind of push it over to the side there and it'll hold itself out of the way. The next part we've got to remove is this bolt back here. It's a 13 millimeter bolt, so you're going to need a 13 millimeter socket. It's this far back bolt in the corner, and it's the uh, positive terminal onto the 12 volt battery. It'll be a little easier to remove the battery if you also remove this bolt here. It's a 13 millimeter bolt. Uh, I already loosened it, so you just take that off and pull that over to the side. That's your DC-DC lead for the positive side of the uh, of the pack. So this this is one that you definitely wanna have removed that cut loop before you go messing with it. So now you've removed that, you get a little bit better access in there. Once you get the battery rotated on its side, that's when it can kinda Start coming straight out. Oh, it's like giving birth to a child. Okay, so now we're gonna move our adapters over. Important to keep our positive to the positive, negative to the negative, of course. Uh, and this is where, if you find any other battery on the market, it's not gonna have the correct terminal layout. And that's why we went through all of the work that we did to make sure that we redesigned our own lithium battery for the Tesla battery so it would have the correct terminals. Um, so you have to loosen these two. They're eight millimeter bolts. He's going to loosen those and then move these over to your new battery and keep it in the same orientation. Your red dot, of course, is your positive side and your black dot is going to be the negative. Make sure not to lose this little square nut or square 
make sure not to lose this square headed bolt because that needs to go in there and that's what's going to connect to your in your side of your car then you got the negative side it's got a longer thread and that's just going to move over to right there this one you can rotate a little bit it'll actually help make sure you kind of keep out of the way of your handle here so that you can still use the handle because that'll make it easier for you so now you got the two terminals moved over on your near lithium that will go battery all right, now when it comes to putting this battery back in, it's going to be a little bit easier because you've got a little bit less weight on this battery, so it's easier to manage. Uh, we also made it slightly smaller. Um, it's not a lot smaller because we wanted to get more capacity out of it than the original. And so we were able to do that, but we, we had to keep it about the same size. It also helps to actually install it into the same space and keep it, in, keep it tight so it's not too loose. So going in, it's going to be the same as with the other one. You're going to go in sideways and then twist it into, into its spot. So it's going to go in sideways and you twist it into its spot. Put the terminals as you're sliding it in, have the terminals facing the driver's side of the car. That'll make it a little easier. Now once it's settled in, you can just turn it sideways and kind of shimmy it into position. All right. Now once you've got that shimmied into place, and it's going to be the same process in reverse. You're going to bolt down your positive terminal first. Uh, and that's just going to, you're going to fit the thread off the top of the adapter into that same hole in the back corner. Um, this strap here, after you've attached that positive, then you can bring this down and that'll bolt in with another 13 millimeter bolt. Those are both 13 millimeters. Then once you've got that done, you can reattach the negative here. And then you're uh, able to just reverse the whole process and kind of reassemble everything. Put your plastic clip back on the top, put the air box back in place, put the trim back in place, get your boot back in there, get everything tight and snug, and you are off to the races and you will have your totally modern lithium 12 volt battery on board saving you about 15 pounds of weight and a whole bunch of years of trouble. Thanks for watching our video.